Hello, this is Hakuda Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-600, also known as That Guy. And I chose this SCP specifically for that name because I found it hilarious. If you like this video, please, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-600. Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-600 is contained in a Class E suite in Site-17, dimension in 15 meters by 15 meters by 3 meters. Two security cameras monitor the subject at all times. A standard steel door with a reinforced double panel window secures the suite. No special procedures are required for entering or exiting the suite, but the caveat that SCP-600 may attempt to fall a researcher's out of containment. A civil guard command in order to return to containment has proved sufficient to curtail his be this behavior. Description SCP-600 is a humanoid entity approximately 1.7 meters tall with the build of approximately an adult human and male of average weight for its height. The subject is generally featureless, lacking facial features, external ears, nails, body hair, Air genitalia and anus. Full body scans have shown on SCP 600 to have no internal structures of any kind. Instead, being formed from an unknown material of uniform density close to that of human muscle or tissue. It neither ingests, respirates, or excretes. The subject's age has not been determined. SCP 600 telepathically affects all humans who view it, causing it to take on their superficial personal characteristics. This effect only alters the visual perception of affected persons. SCP-600's actual form can still be detected by cameras, sensors, and, sensors, and touch. The perceived resemblance between SCP-600 and an infected viewer is general and superficial. No viewers have found it to be notable or uncanny in any way. Characteristics imitated by the subject include but are not limited to hair color, skin color, eye color, approximate age, clothing style, and general physique. Note that clothing imitated by SCP-600 is entirely illusory. Animal tests reveal that non-human organisms appear not to perceive the subject unless they physically collide with it. <sighs> when humans are present, SCP-600 will attempt to engage in conversation. Its conversational repertoire is limited. It will discuss trivialities such as weather and other small talk, or attempt to commiserate with those present about professional matters as if it were similarly employed. Such discussions are superficial, filled with jargon appropriate to the person's area of expertise, but consist largely of obvious statements and platitudes. Attempts at more substantial discussion are deflected, and SCP-600 displays no deep domain knowledge of any field of employment. When not in presence of humans, SCP-600 is generally inactive. Standing in a single pose for hours or even days at a time without any apparent reaction to outside stimulus. The subject is generally cooperative, but displays an unsettling tendency to refer to itself in the third person when speaking to researchers assigned to it, frequently referring to the SCP-600 case. See attached interview log at 600E for example of this behavior. It has requested that researchers refer to it as George, but is not upset by refusal to do so. All right. Interview 600E. We're going to say researcher Bob. Good morning in, in SCP-600. Today we're going to be performing some tests of your recall ability. Hey Bob, don't need to be so, so formal. I told you before, just call me George. I don't think that would be a pro- That would be appropriate. Ah, uh, Bob, always a consummate professional. Anyway, how are the kids doing? 
Thomas, we are you begging that? Oh, I'm not going to discuss that with you. Now, if you would please look at the four images on this page. Oh, that's cool. Let's get down to business. So, what are your thoughts on the SCP-600 case? He's certainly an odd one. Not that we haven't seen our share of odd ones. <laughs> Personally, I think the containment and procedures are a little lax. Please try to focus on the exercise. Now, in the first picture, do you think his ability is a medic? Wasn't Dr. or Sam's team looking into that? If you aren't able to focus on the matter at hand, I will be forced to discontinue this exercise. Oh, sorry, it's just a fascinating case. Do you want to get a beer after work? I have some theories I'd like to bounce off of you. I have a suspicion that Redacted is tied up in this somehow. This exercise is over. And it looks like SCP-600, also known as that guy, just can't and, and pay attention to anything. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!